Hi, Bruce Merrifield here. This is the first of two slides that will give us a overview or of, of organizational view on this constellation of e-video clips, which can really almost seem like a mind map. And I have no doubt that, that different uh, users will, will uh, take different approaches. Some people will just go here, there, and everywhere. Some people get excited about a section. Some people just start off with number one and go all the way to the finish. Whatever, just whatever works for you. Uh, in this slide, this kind of tries to put uh, the the puzzle pieces of, of being a high performing distribution company uh, in a in a chronological perspective. Uh, we're actually going to start off uh, in this first module with the whole idea of how our service lowers. Um, uh, well, our service value chain story lowers the customer's supply chain, uh, you know, story. They're trying to get the best total procurement cost, the most uptime, the best customer satisfaction, retention, economics. So we have to prove that that's the case, so that they won't just, you know, give us a lion's share. They'll actually marry us. So we can then work on the uh, integrating, automating the the buy sell processes that exist between us. However, we can't. We can't go to people and say, marry us, uh, if we don't have basic service brilliance. We can't have basic service brilliance if we don't have a very customer niche focused service uh, angle because the, the, it turns out service excellence will vary by niche but we also have to have a culture that will attract keep uh, and turn on employees and then you get to sort of the basic attitude and aptitude of employees and we we really 85 percent of high performance uh, personnel practices is, is, is how you pick them in a, in a sense so uh, assuming if we can get good people and keep them then we put them in a culture that allows us to achieve great service excellence. Then we have basic service excellence. That's our calling card to go out and tell customers, not only do I get last look at another point or two, but if you don't like paying a higher price, let's get married so we can massively lower our cost to serve and therefore lower your, 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 your price and everybody wins. Um, as a result of this, if we can go knock off uh, the, all the biggest, best customers in a given niche, th then we start to grow, f grow faster, make more money. We have what I call nicheonomics. And up here, line of sight gain sharing, part of this culture of, of uh, you know, having people turned on and so forth, they have to know what's in it for them. So how can they look at metrics they're working on every day and understand how those metrics will uh, wind their way towards uh, retaining best customers, penetrating them further, uh, helping us fashion uh, most effective uh, value exchange relationships with those best customers. And as a result, profits grow and they get gain sharing uh, or they start to, to earn their way into premium wages for their particular job niche. So those are sort of puzzle pieces um, that we, we have to figure out how to address. Thank you.